ahead. So at halftime, did you just walk up to Eno and say, uh, just go do it, guy? <laughs> yeah, you know, I don't know why, but we just had a lot of miscues in the first half, and we came in the second half and said, man, we're just we're going to take all of the the guesswork out of it and play big boy football like we're capable of doing and just run run over them. That's all what we wanted to do, and we did that in the second half. So when we look at the issues of the passing game, was this like a lot of coverage that causing issues? No, else? not really. Uh, just, you know, um, it was a tough game, man. It's a rivalry game. You can throw everything out the window, and it's just it's always tough. It's just always tough. And then Brandon went out, you know, and missed the hub most of the fourth quarter, and, and he was hurting, hobbled. Mm -hmm. He was hobbling all week in practice, and, you know, we knew it was just going to be tough to get him through the game and mm -hmm. wanted to get him a couple catches and all that stuff. And, uh, you know, and then we had a lot of miscues in the first half. We dropped three balls. Mm -hmm. You know, we had a mishandled. It just seemed like everything was going wrong in the first half. And there's one thing I've learned. You, you, you want to get rid of all of that little minor stuff, just play smash mouth football and run it right down their throat. Mm -hmm. Was Brandon nicked up in the Oregon game? Uh, yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. He was just really, his body, it just took a lot out of him. He was really sore. He was, and then he, he kind of got hit um, somewhere in the lower part of his body. And he was just, he was really hobbling around, man. He couldn't run full speed. So when you say that and you come out and do what you did to start the third quarter, it really set the tone for the rest of the game. Oh, that's right. That's right. And, you know, it's kind of like uh, went back. I, you have no idea how good that felt going back to some of my roots in the triple option and just we ran the belly G there a little bit and <laughs> smashed them in the I don't think you're allowed to say that anymore, but uh, uh, we ran the ball really well. So uh, say that. And like I said, we played big boy football. And man, does that feel good. It's very satisfying. Do you feel the way you ran the ball against Oregon last week really gave her the confidence the offensive line could block as well? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And, and Dave Christensen and, and all the coaches did a great job. We watched the film. They were playing bear. Um, it's just not as easy as people think to just, hey, let's run the football. Well, people line up in defenses that can stop inside run. And so you have to adjust, and you got to get the ball out on the perimeter. Last week was more so of a personnel, like I just those guys – were big and strong and can manhandle us. That that wasn't the case in this game. It was more structure, mm -hmm. uh, where they were going in a bare front, um, and so that that stops the zone a little bit, and it, it makes it really hard to run the ball in between the tackles. Mm -hmm. So we had a really good scheme going into the um, into the game. It just seemed like we could never get to it. We never we were always behind the sticks and getting a second and fifteen. We were doing something wrong in the first half, and we came in and just told them that guys. Eliminate all that stuff, and we're going to be just fine. So, were you okay in the first half with the way? I mean, with the the passion, the intensity that the guys had. It was just a mystery. yeah. And you know what happens? Um, it's just it's like in baseball when you face a really great pitcher. Everybody goes, "Oh, then those guys they, they didn't seem like they were in it." Well, no, that that pitcher's <laughs> you know doing a really good job. And it's the same thing when you start having miscues on offense. People, everybody just looks around. We were just taking turns, messing up, and that just sucks the air out of everything and then and we, we just knew all we needed was either one big play or heck with that we were just going to run it you know was that the thing coming out of halftime that you were just going to run the ball until they couldn't yes stop absolutely it? yeah so to have Eno as the guy him getting the ball uh you know a veteran guy that's done everything he's done that's that's a good point person <laughs> no that absolutely you know we have him we know what he's capable of doing we got we do have three seniors up on the off, well, actually four seniors up on the offensive line. I know you guys found out LD was out and, you know, um, got poked in the eye during practice this week and thought he was going to play, but then he couldn't play. Uh, you know, so, um, you know, it was a little tough, you know, moving the offensive line around a little bit, but uh, we did it. But like, like you said, we knew what we have in Eno, and I know that Cole and Steve and Alex and Roy – um, and Donovan, those guys just weren't going to be denied this game. You know, and I felt really good going into the second half that we just ride those guys. There's obviously speculation, you know, Benjamin might, might declare the NFL draft, may even skip the ball game because of that. If this was the last game you coached, you know, Benjamin, what a sweet memory, was it? Oh, I'm tell you what, and he sent me a beautiful text this morning when I, I woke up to that text, and it really, you know, hit my heart. Because um, I offered, like I said, you know, back when he was in the ninth grade, he reminded me of Walter Payton. The first time I saw him, I looked at him, I watched how violent he ran, and I said, man, that's that's Walter Payton Jr. right there. I uh, love that kid, everything that he's done, and, you know, we'll see what decision he makes. I'm behind him, whatever he wants to do, I love him. What, what was that text that he sent you? What was that text? That it was just a text saying thank you for everything. You helped me live out my dream and, and things like that, and it was just really awesome. It really touched my heart. Do you feel 
Oh yeah, like I was watching. We could have thrown a post for a touchdown like any time we wanted to in that fourth quarter. Like I felt like I just. But then I was like, well, we're getting six yards a carry or five. Why, why even take the chance? And we were up by that many scores, and so there's really no reason to take that chance. But I just know, you know, I mean, we, I felt like we could have scored 38 points, you know, tonight. But, uh, but you know, we got up by three scores, and so we're just going to grind it out and eat clock and try to just get, win the game. What do you think about how you guys did in the 12 personnel looks and then also getting Jaden to roll out? A bit? Yeah, you know, that was, that was you know, we trying to get him out on the perimeter. Um, early, just like we did in the Oregon game, because that's you know what he does, and um, thought we did a better job in the second half. We just got ourselves in bad down and distances in the first half with miscues, and you you just can't. I mean, it's hard to call plays when you're third and fifteen and, and second and fifteen. It just man, it's hard, man. You know, and they were dropping eight, and you're trying to throw the ball, and, and it's just it's just really tough. But the twelve personnel plan. Uh, which all the coaches, Charlie Fisher and Donnie Yanis and Sean Aguano, those guys did a great job. Um, we all got together this week and said, man, I don't care what formation we got to get in, personnel grouping, let's win this football game and came up with a good game plan. With the young offensive line, it hasn't been easy for Eno, you know, even though he's put up big numbers. That's right. How, how has he handled that throughout the season? You know, early it was really a struggle because, you know, obviously um, with what he did over 1,600 yards rushing last year, he had a, a – uh, a lot of expectations coming into the season, and I'm sure he heard it from family members, friends, everywhere you look, everybody's wanting to repeat performance. That's hard to do, man. And then with the young offensive line, so early, you know, I think he really struggled with that. It's like we all would. Um, and then as the season went, I just saw him grow up, and he came to me and he said, Coach, I, I just want to win. I just want to win games. I don't really care anymore about all this stuff. And so, you know, he just kind of let it go. And, and then you kind of saw a different kid in, in the way he ran the football in these last several games. He, he did a really good job. I'm so proud of him. What do you think attributed to letting that go? Is there a turning point, you feel like? Well, you just got to – it's priorities. And you got to say to yourself, okay, man, it's a decision that a ball player makes. All right, do I go after the self, you know, um, accolades? You know, or am I a brother to these guys? that I, I bleed with and sweat with and I've been around with and I go through all of this stuff, uh, what, what, what decision am I going to make? And you know what? To his credit, he decided that he wanted to be a great teammate and he wanted ASU to win above his accolades. And, and, uh, and I saw him do that and I just thought it was outstanding uh, character for that young man. He did get over 1,000 yards tonight for the season. Yeah. So it's not like he's... I know, right? You know, it's, well, that's expectations and it's just, you could see... You know, uh, coming into the season, everybody has these expectations. And I told you guys early, I've had two um, experiences with true freshman quarterbacks, and I went 0-12 and 1-11. and Okay, <laughs> so, you know, we, we just won seven games, and we're going to a bowl game with two freshman offensive linemen and a freshman quarterback. I mean, that's a pretty good, good job all around. And obviously our defense, I mean, we don't do it without our defense. They, they played great tonight and just... Yeah, our defense gave us gave us the, the chance to win.